Disney has a record of producing some of the best movies for centuries. Do they put in the same effort in all their movies? We're just about to find out. Roll your critical sleeves up because in this video, we are comparing Descendants to Zombies. For a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card, leave your score in the comment section below. Villains. Of course, we had to start with the V factor. The villains play a huge part in all Disney projects. In Descendants, the war is between the good people of Aradon and the villains in the Isle of the Lost. Mal and her friends cross over with a mission from their evil parents, but they end up being consumed by all the good in Aradon. Descendants takes a twist later when Audrey becomes the villain, and both groups realize that it's possible for bad people to become good as much as good people can turn bad. In Zombies, we have the battle of the humans and the zombies in the first franchise, and in the second franchise, werewolves are introduced in the mix. Contrary to the villains in Descendants, the zombies and werewolves are introduced as vulnerable characters who are simply trying to survive. The humans who try to discriminate them are actually more villainous. Okay, all factors considered, when it comes to actual villains, it's pretty hard to beat Descendants. The franchise literally has almost all the villains in the Disney World universe under one roof. So we guess Descendants can take this win, right? Creative Conflict Descendants is majorly about the battle of good versus evil. Belle and Beast have married and become king and queen. Following the establishment of the United States of Aradon, they have created a prosperous new nation from the surrounding kingdoms and banished the villains to the Isle of the Lost, a slum surrounded by a barrier where magic is suspended. The villain's goal throughout the franchise is to break the barrier, and in the end, we learn that good people can be evil and bad people can also be heroic. Descendants 3 introduced a political aspect, and some people thought that the theme was too heavy for kids. Well, these people had clearly not seen zombies. In the movie, zombies are separated from living freely by a wall that separates them from the rest of the human side of Seabrook and are judged by false perceptions and stereotypes. Even though they are limited, they fight to get accepted in society, and eventually they are accepted, although not by everyone. The franchise offers a fresh perspective of how prejudice has worked in our society and how it has dominated the United States throughout the last century. The conflicts in both Descendants and Zombies cover very crucial aspects in the community. So it's a tie on our side. What do you think? Aradon Prep vs. Seabrook High Aradon Prep was built over 300 years before the Isle of the Lost Kids arrived at Aradon. It just so happened to be Beast's old castle, which was repurposed into a school when he became king. Fairy Godmother was appointed headmistress following the opening of the school. A statue of Beast was added to the center of the front garden, and it can morph between man and Beast when someone of Beast's bloodline claps their hands. The lessons of Aradon Prep include remedial goodness, history of pirates and woodcutters, smiling, magical history, virtues and values, science, life skills, art, cooking, bad fairies, and history of Aradon. Despite being a boarding school, many of the hero's home castles are located near the school. On the other hand, Seabrook High School is known for uniformity, traditions, and pep rallies, especially for their sports teams, and the school colors appear to be pink and green. It is mostly known for its football and cheerleading teams, and they take cheerleading very seriously. Their football team had done nothing but lose until Zed started having Eliza hack his Z-band. It's implied that the reason the football team always lost was because all the best athletes become cheerleaders. Even the coach vaguely blames this on Seabrook, putting cheer before actual sport. Which high school would you rather attend, Aradon Prep or Seabrook High? Lead Couple in Descendants, Ben was dating Audrey until Mal and her friends showed up in Aradon. Mal's plan was to put Ben under a spell just long enough to achieve her goals, but the two fell deeply in love. Of course, Audrey didn't take that union kindly, and she went full-blown evil in Descendants 3. Ben proposed to Mal, and we are still waiting for that royal wedding and those adorable little kids. Descendants also had other incredible couples, but we will not look into that. In Zombies, Addison was one of the people who was willing to give zombies a chance in Seabrook High, especially Zed, who had a special place in her heart. Addison and Zed's relationship is initially unknown to all the students and staff, except two of Zed's zombie friends. Their love blossoms when Addison is invited by Zed to attend the zombie party in Zombie Town. She attends and has a private moment with Zed in the zombie park. And just before the pair can kiss, the zombie patrol crashes the party and takes away Addison. So, are you a Team Men or Team Zedison? We already know which couple most people ship more, Zedison. Several fans already complained that the chemistry between Ben and Mal was not as strong as they would have wished. Maybe it's because Thomas Dougherty was also part of Descendants' as Harry. On the other hand, the chemistry between Zed and Addison is undeniable. Fans can't stop shipping them in real life. Songs Both Descendants and Zombies are musicals, so it's going to be hard to decide on this one. Can you believe that Descendants was not supposed to be a musical? Oh, it would have been such a waste of all those talented musicians in that cast. We are glad that they decided to include the songs because they were a huge part of the franchise's success. Not to mention, they're amazing. Descendant soundtrack peaked at number one in the U.S. Billboard 200, number one on the U.S. Top Digital Albums, and topped the U.S. Top Soundtracks. The soundtrack for the sequel to 2015's Descendant soared into the top 10 of the Billboard 200, debuting at number six with 46,000 units. The songs in Descendants 3 were also fantastic, and Queen of Mean took everyone's breath away. 
It's currently the reigning video with 223 million views. Zombies also introduced a couple of amazing songs that made all of us want to party in Zombie Town, and the sequel didn't disappoint, especially with the new characters. The dance moves in Zombies were also over the top, but maybe that's because most of the cast members are professional dancers in real life. In Descendants, most of the cast members had to go through vigorous dance classes to bust the moves, but they did terrific as well. Well, we're really conflicted here, so we'll let you choose. Which songs just make your day? Do you have any of them in your current playlist? Let us know. The actors. The cast members in Descendants are definitely not strangers, and you probably know them more than you know the actors in Zombies. Mal is played by Dove Cameron and is the daughter of Maleficent, played by Kristen Chenoweth. Evie is played by Sophia Carson and is the daughter of the Evil Queen, played by Kathy Najimi. Jay is played by Boo Boo Stewart and is the son of Jafar, played by Maz Jobrani. Carlos is played by Cameron Boyce and is the son of Cruella DeVille, played by Wendy Raquel Robinson. Then we have China Ann McLean, Thomas Dowdy, Sarah Jeffrey, Diane Doan, and several others who are big names in the entertainment industry. Zombies introduced a bunch of talented actors who are also doing a great job. We have Milo Mannheim as Zed, Meg Donnelly as Addison, Trevor Torgman as Bucky, Chandler Kinney as Willa, Kingston Foster as Zoe, Carla Jeffrey as Bree, and Paul Hopkins as Dale. Zombies 2 also introduced Pierce Joza as Wyatt and Baby Ariel as Winter. Okay, when it comes to popularity and experience, the actors in Descendants definitely take the win on this one. Do you believe Disney made a smart move by casting actors who are not typically Disney stars in Zombies? Costumes. Descendants costumes have been a staple for Halloween over the years. A lot of thought was involved, and for the parents, the characters' costumes had to match the original characters from the classics. Well, the kids had a slightly different flair, but their costumes also had to relate to their parents' costumes. As the kids kept evolving, the costumes had to evolve with them to suit the various themes. Overall, it was a job well done. The creative team in Zombies was also tasked with crafting characters that blend kid-friendly Disney styling with creepy creature looks. The green and gray in Zombies needed to be just enough for the characters to still remain recognizable. The purples and golds in the werewolves' costumes were chosen to reflect royalty. In the first Zombies movie, Milo shared how the actors playing Zombies were able to customize their characters' look and style, while the actors playing humans couldn't because the zombies are all unique while humans are more uniform. The werewolves had the same creative freedom like the zombies. Each werewolf had to wear certain items, but then they were allowed to tweak and add on some flair as long as it was representative of their character. Ariel came up with the idea to add spikes to her shoes as well as the big wristband with tons of faux fur around it that none of the other werewolves wore. When it comes to costuming, just ask yourself, which one would you rather wear for Halloween? There, you have your winner. Continuity. Unlike the other two movies, Descendants 3 didn't finish with the character telling the audience, You didn't think this was the end of the story. Did you? Meaning it actually was the end. However, we could think of a million ways the story could continue. It's already got an expanded universe outside of the trilogy of movies, including various books that fill in the gaps between movies, animated spin-offs, and live-action short movies such as Under the Sea and Audrey's Royal Return. Almost every character in Descendants is capable of continuing the story through the various arcs. Check out our channel for the various Descendants predictions, theories, and spin-offs. Could the characters in Zombies also carry the story on their own? Well, this could be difficult because, unlike Descendants, Zombies introduced two main leads, Zed and Addison. Zombies 2 added on a cliffhanger after introducing werewolves. For the franchise to continue with the same intensity, the showrunners probably have to introduce other supernatural beings. When asked what they think, the actors said they'd love to see new creatures join the eccentric town of Seabrook, such as vampires, mermaids, and aliens. We have a hunch they could even introduce witches. However, based on the film's mysterious ending, aliens seem to make the most sense. Reception Before the film made its TV debut, Descendants was viewed more than 1 million times on the Watch Disney Channel app. It was viewed 6.6 .6 million times on its premiere night and 10.5 million viewers tuned in for an early DVR playback. Shortly after the premiere air date, ratings showed the film was the fifth most watched original movie in cable history. On Disney Channel, Descendants 2 was watched by 5.33 million viewers and topped the night on cable TV, receiving a 1.20 rating. Although down from the first film, it was the most viewed telecast on the network since the first one. Descendants 3 was watched by 4.59 million viewers on its August 2, 2019 premiere, with viewership increasing to 8.43 million viewers after three days of delayed viewing. Very impressive ratings, if you ask us. Over its premiere weekend, the movie reached 10.3 million viewers over eight airings. It got the highest ratings and viewership since Descendants 2. Zombies 2 attracted a total of 2.46 million viewers with a .52 rating for people aged 18 to 49. The sequel outperformed the original, which is very rare, and that didn't happen even for Descendants. Zombies 2 was also the most watched movie after Descendants 3. We can say that both franchises have been received really well by the viewers, and since there's still a chance for Zombies 3, we'll just have to wait and see whether it will break all the records. A third installment better be in the works, Disney, otherwise we will all riot. The last thing you have to consider before you make up your mind on this one is rewatchability. Which of the two movies would you watch over and over without getting bored? 
We are dying to know your results. Which franchise, according to you, was better? Descendants or Zombies? Sound off in the comment section below. Remember to check back tomorrow for another amazing video. This has been Riveted.